G'day mate, 40 here. So I'm listening to a pretty good interview with Yoram Hazoni by Alex Kashuta from her Substack Garden of Earthly Delights. So she lives in Romania, she's married, she's a mother, got a little boy, and she's asking Yoram Hazoni like what exactly is conservatism? Does it have anything in common with these uh, you know, established ideas or is it something completely revolutionary? Uh, of how, how far back do you go to, to uh, you know, harness these ideas? So what, um, what are the, the main concepts here? The things that you're naming. Yeah, so is conservatism simply right-wing liberalism? Is it all about increasing human freedom? Uh, you know, conservatives, uh, fusionists, libertarians, I don't know what else you, you, you just named. Um, these are oh, right liberals, you said. Well, th these are all versions of liberalism. And uh, one, one of the things that, uh, that I work hard to do in the book is to distinguish conservatism from, from liberalism because I, you, you're, you're right in hinting that it's all become... So, yeah, most of what we think of as conservatism is really right-wing liberalism. Uh, very confused, uh, especially in the last generation, but, you know, even a few decades before then. Um, the, the, the traditional distinction between liberal and conservative uh, be begins with li liberalism being a, uh, a political philosophy or a political uh, movement that focuses on freedom. It's focused overwhelmingly on the freedom of the individual. And certainly the versions of liberalism uh, that we've been dealing with in the last generation are... Uh, are quite extreme in their uh, in strident insistence that if you uh, give ever-expanding uh, liberties to individuals, then you'll solve most of society's problems. And uh, conservatism is a, is a, a very different creature. Uh, as I Yeah, so liberalism is all about you know, individual human rights, while conservatism is much more about preserving the people, the, the tribe, right? Uh, it's not just about ever expanding freedom because conservatism has a fundamentally skeptical view of human nature that so therefore it can't primarily be about expanding freedom. I, uh, in, in my book, I, I begin by setting out a, a history of Anglo-American conservatism going, going back at least to the 1400s. And uh, conservatism is, is a, uh, it's a, a competing political worldview that sees national and religious tradition as the key to strengthening and maintaining a nation through time. So even just from those in few introductory words of, of, of definition, it, you can already see that uh, whereas liberals begin with the free and equal individual, you know, some kind of imaginary state of nature in which human beings are perfectly equal and perfectly free and don't take on any obligations or responsibilities except the ones they consent to, uh, conservatives have, have never really bought any of that. Uh, so the, 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 the conservative tradition, here I'm, I'm, I'm focusing specifically on, on, on the British and American one, but you know, there, there are other conservative traditions as well. But what they all have in common is that, uh, that they, they begin with uh, individuals being born into families and families being born into uh, tribes and uh, tribes being born into nations. And uh, all of these nations compete with one another just like the tribes compete with one another, families compete with one another. Uh, even right, so I often talk about where I differ from liberalism. I don't look at people as primarily you know, individuals. I look at people as primarily... They're members of tribes. People are born into families which are part of tribes, which are part of nations. So this is the difference between liberalism and conservatism. Even within the family, human beings have a tendency to compete up until uh, they are counted from the outside and then they, they come together and tend to come together and create a united front. So uh, a conservative somebody, I think, who has a, begins with a much more realistic uh, view of, uh, of what human beings are and from there pretty quickly gets to a much more realistic view of what human beings need. Right, and the more realistic view of human beings is that people are not basically good. Right? So all right-wing political movements have a conception that the individual is not basically good, but uh, it cannot just be simply trusted to pursue his own desires, and then everything's going to be great. No, you need to tie people to families, to tradition, right? to time-tested ways of organizing families and peoples. And that's going to work better than simply ever-expanding rights.